The crisis in Ukraine keeps growing as the United States warns a Russian invasion could happen at any time. The Pentagon now says 7,000 more Russian soldiers have arrived on the Ukrainian border, some as recently as today. KPIX 5 Sarah Donchi has more on the U.S. response. Just tonight, we're learning that the U.S. Air Force sent F-35 fighter jets to an airbase in Germany to support NATO allies as the situation along the Russia-Ukraine border grows even more tense. The U.S. and its allies are rejecting Russia's claims that it is withdrawing its forces from Ukraine's borders. New satellite images show heightened military activity, including a large field hospital. We're in the window where we believe an attack could come at any time, uh, and that would be preceded by a fabricated pretext. The Biden administration says Russian media is pushing misinformation, including false reports of genocide and mass graves in Ukraine. U.S. officials have also assessed that Russian hackers have likely targeted the Ukrainian government, including military and critical infrastructure networks, to collect intelligence and could seek to disrupt Ukrainian critical infrastructure and try to destabilize the country. Russia relies on misinformation and disinformation to cover its tracks. The vice president and secretary of state will attend a security conference in Germany this week to discuss ongoing efforts to de-escalate tensions. It comes as the top Republican on the House Foreign Affairs Committee questioned Germany. I think they're trying to play it both ways, and I worry that they're more concerned about that pipeline than they are about uh, NATO security. President Biden spoke to the German chancellor by phone Wednesday afternoon. The White House says they talked about continued coordination on diplomacy and deterrence, including the reinforcement of NATO's eastern flank if Russia further invades. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin is currently in Brussels for meetings with his NATO counterparts. A news conference is planned for Thursday. Back to you.